It was one of the worst storms that we've had in the TBA service territory in our entire history. I realized the severity once I got home and I saw that check from Coleman, Alabama in my front yard. That's 100 miles as the crow flies. It was something I'd never witnessed before. I got a hold of the, uh, my crew members that were back in Scottsboro and said, you know, take cover. Uh, it's about to get bad. What I couldn't have imagined was 12 hours later, we would have 107 transmission lines out of service. We lost 5,000 megawatts of generation, including the entire Browns Ferry nuclear plant. You know, this was the largest event in the history of TVA. That day was uh, unusual from the very start. I got to work at approximately 5 o'clock that morning and we were immediately in a tornado warning for the Limestone County area. I hadn't even made it through the West Gatehouse uh, at the time of the first tornado warning. And that merely started a series of warnings throughout the day. Every time a thunderstorm developed, a tornado warning came out within 30 minutes of developing. Um, that is just, I've been through a lot of severe weather events in my life and nothing is ever compared to what this was. The rest of the day was dodging tornadoes and assessing line damage. It, it was a non-stop. At approximately 16.35, 4.35 p.m., uh, we uh, had a loss of off-site power and a simultaneous shutdown of all three units. It, it wasn't chaos. I mean, it was very organized. Folks reacted very professionally. You know, that was their job to deal with this event, and they did the job incredibly well that day. And you could see all the transmission structures just twisted and turned like into spaghetti, right? The one thing that I think was unique about Woodis Creek is there was a lot of flexibility in our switch yard to be able to do alternate feeds to different locations, which was a blessing that day to be able to go out and, and make some maneuvering or switching operations to keep things going in other areas. And then talking with our transmission system people about all the towers that were down, transmission towers that were down, and the 161 lines that were down. It was really a, something you'll never forget. The uh, power output from Browns Ferry with all three units at rated power is enough to supply two million homes. That is a, a very significant loss of power uh, for the people of the valley. I think everyone knew it was kind of like game day, um, no matter what trade you was in or what, um, if you're an engineer or what, it was game day. It was working as hard as you could. So when this storm hit on the 27th, by 1709 on the 4th of May, we were able to pick up our last customer delivery point in a week, you know, which is incredible. And being able to do that with about a quarter of the structures replaced, only about 40% of the lines restored, a great testament to just all the hard works of all the field folks, the folks in the SOC, all the folks that supported this from supply chain to TVA police, TVA safety. You know, this really was a huge effort uh, of collaboration and teamwork across TVA to make this happen. As you watched the response and the things that went on, it warmed your heart back up into this is what life is about. This life and working with TVA is about helping people helping our area to prosper in any way, whether it's after some type of devastating event or whether it's in everyday life. And I think that really rang true to me.